So I'm here in the Grand Canyon. I thought this would be a cool place to test out my satellite communicators, see if they can actually get a message through. I've got a bunch of different ones here. I'll run through them with you. We'll test them out and then we'll see if the messages get through to the front country to my other phone that's back at the hotel. And the spot that I'm specifically at is in the south rim of the Grand Canyon under Pima Point off of the Hermit Trail just when it drops down into this gorge here. It's a pretty hardcore place. You can see, um, you know, kind of narrow. And if we look around up at the walls and the um, cliffs around us, this is where I'm doing the test right from in here. All right, first up, we have the Garmin InReach Mini 2, which is on the Iridium satellite network, 100% worldwide coverage. I sent the preset at 11.20, and within a minute, it went out. And checking on my phone back at the hotel, I also got it within the minute. And if I go into the detail here, you can see it says internet message. That's how it was received, not sent. And I have an accurate location. One minute success for the Mini 2. Next up is the Garmin GPS Map 67i, which is also on the Iridium satellite network. A little bit easier to type on this one since it has a bigger screen. I sent a location share um, from my thing at 11.21 it went out, and I didn't have the notification on, but within a minute I saw that it arrived at my cell phone at the hotel along with the location share, and if we go into the map you can see it's in the right place again. So very respectable for the 67i, one minute for this as well. Last Garmin in this test is the Garmin Messenger, also on Iridium, like the last two devices. Uh, this one, it's a little bit easier to type with the phone using the Messenger app, so I did test location, 1123, sent it out via satellite, and there we go. It went through in about a minute or so, and then when I went back to the hotel and I looked at it, it was 1123 as well, so this all happened within a minute, which is pretty amazing. Overall, all of the Garmin inReach units really killed it, and I didn't expect them to perform so well in such a difficult spot here. All right, next we have the Zolio, and this is also on the Iridium network. It's a couple years old at this point, but uh, it's still been working reliably for me. And you need a phone for this. You can't type a message out on the device itself, but it's easy enough when it's connected via Bluetooth and your phone's working. But there we go. It went out at 1124 along with the location. And in a second here, there we go. We get a little jingle and it went out relatively quickly within about a minute. And if I look back on the phone at the hotel, it got there the next minute. So maybe a minute, minute and a half, I can click on location on this. Unfortunately, it brings me to the zoomed out view, but I can zoom in and I can see that the location was right as well. Very respectable results for the Zolio. Next one is the Spot X, which runs on the Global Star Network. It's a low Earth orbit like Iridium, but it's different. And it's neat because it has this keyboard on it. It's a little bit older now, um, doesn't get some great reviews, but here we go. Let's send one 1126 using the keyboard. And back at the hotel, there it is coming in at 11.30, so four minutes for this one. That's respectable for this. I think this has a lower transmit power than the other ones, not that that is everything. And let's see if our location is accurate. Not quite where the other ones were, off a little bit, but it's, it's pretty accurate, and uh, this worked pretty well, did respectable for such a tough environment. All right, let's start doing some phones. This is the iPhone 15 Pro Max, which is on the Global Star Network, same as the Spot but this is on the iPhone. This is a little bit different. We can't do two-way messaging, but we can do a location share via satellite, which is available when you're out of cell phone range. And there's the message. We started the process there. It knows where the satellites are gonna be. It knows which way we're pointing. It's a directional device, so you kind of have to move it around to point at the satellite. There we go. It looks like we've locked onto the satellite. Let's see if we get those green bars. There we go, green bars. Now it's sending my location to find my. This could be so much better. Um, it sends it there, so if somebody looks on my account, they can see where I am, but nobody gets like a notification or anything like that happens with the other one. So it's not quite apples to apples with the other communicators that we have, which kind of go into your inbox, but uh, still it's free and it comes with your iPhone, so it works. And there we go, 42 seconds to send that location. That's uh, pretty great. Last up is Yuli Phone Armor 23 Ultra. This uses the Bullet app and the uh, Skylo system, geostationary satellites about 22,000 miles above the Earth's surface. 
it requires you to point the phone at the satellites, but when you lock on, and this locked on fairly quickly here, I'm not sure why, not always like that, but it did. And once you do it, the message will go through relatively quickly. There we see 1136. It gives you a little read receipt or delivery receipt when it goes up. And there it is. You can see it's just a matter of seconds once the connection is there. So overall, this did really well. But again, it requires you to point the phone at a satellite. You don't always have a clear vision of the sky. It's supposed to be to the south. Um, but I found that it's not always logical. Sometimes you have a connection and sometimes you don't. Now, I was not expecting all of these to perform so well, especially in such a tough spot here. These are just observations from a point in time. You saw what I did. It doesn't mean this is going to work all the time. Obviously, things change over time. I've had all of these units fail at least once. Even the inReach units, I've been in clear blue skies on a place like the top of Half Dome trying to send a check-in message, and uh, it would not go through even 45 minutes later hiking back down the JMT. Uh, they fail there. So, you know, take this with a grain of salt, but overall, I think I've noticed in all of these systems, definitely an improvement in performance. However, that's happening, software, new hardware up in the sky, who knows what it is, but they've all gotten a little bit better. And uh, I was really surprised and happy at this test here in the Grand Canyon. Any questions, leave them in the comments. And a big thank you to everyone who supports this channel and makes these types of videos possible. I could not do it without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, I'll see you out on the trail.